Hi, hello, YouTube land. Check your clocks for this amateur rabbit time. Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 6. We reached Poshley Heights. We got um, the sixth crystal star, and we placed it in the next pedestal, which means uh, the map led us here, I believe. Map. Yep, it led us to here. The last crystal star is on the moon somewhere, which is go a good coincidence because... The moon is where Princess Peach is being held, so maybe we can see her and rescue her. But I believe something happened behind the scenes that I do not know of. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to get that last crystal star. Go to some place called Far Outpost and be on our way. Also, let me go ahead and say that uh, last episode, I acquired a new partner, Miss Mouse. She's the mouse thief that's been hanging out around the place, stealing badges. And now I got almost everyone up to ultra rank, except green here, of course. But I think I just got to find two more shines, which is probably in the next area. And then we'll have our ultra rank partners. And finally, I got piercing blow. Thank God. <laughs> Took long enough, but here it is. It's a, it's a, a move that pierces defense, so... Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this and have some fun. You already know what to do, guys. Leave a like for... Actually, I should put Coops in. Leave a like for Paper Mario. Leave a like for Chapter 7. And all the good stuff. We're on heading into the next place with some full spirits and good, good jelly jams. So here we go. Chapter 7. Mario Shoots the Moon. <laughs> Wonderful title. Mario gave up on his hammer. He resorted to firearms. He shot the moon with his gun. Alright. Um, yeah. This is cold. Let's hurry ahead, Mario. Fire outpost should be just up here a little way. Got it. Uh, I know there's, I do know there's actually like a shine sprite around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Double dip partner. Oh, okay. I did not know this was here, but, um, yeah, there should be a shine sprite around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. What we got? Oh, three. Whatever puffs. Ice Puff. Okay, I'm gonna have to tattle on these guys real quick. Uh, Goombeller. Ow. Take four, at least. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what we got. Ice Puff. That's an Ice Puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. The only one that has fire power is really, uh, Vivian here. Oh god. Frozen. There's nothing I can do. Ow. Alright. Spin jump. Yeah. The only person can conjure up fire is Vivian, so I probably should use her if that's the case. Oh, I got an ice storm. It's probably going to be useless in this scenario. Say, Mario, did you know walking in the snow leaves really cool footprints? Thing is, the snow is falling so hard, they totally disappear quickly. Hmm. Oh my god, it has a dizzy dial now? Since when? Okay, let's go to Vivian. Fiery Jinx. Whoosh. Okay. Works for me. Ah. Dizzy dial. And now we're dizzy. Maybe the fire will take him out before. Yeah. <laughs> Why must I be so dizzy? Oh boy. Uh, 
Okay. Now I just gotta hope for the best. I should actually throw a hammer, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, Veil. Just so I won't get hit by that ice move. There we go. Yay. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, moving on. I like the snow in the background, though, for this one. Any more? Oh, it's a star piece right there. We've got another enemy. Doink. Wow, another spin jump will end these guys, too. Well, I'm gonna put them... Oh, yeah, I also got Sauce Stomp. It's just, like, something to lower defense. Not necessarily pierce it, but slow them down. Frost Piranha. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its biting attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. Okay. Yeah, they're liable for getting put to sleep, though, so it's way easy. And then I'll switch to Coops. Noise. Oh. More coins, I guess. Piranha plant over here, like, literally trying to bite my face off. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. Gonna need them anyway, I guess. You never know. I'm already about to die, so... I have to be extra careful. Oh, and another... I keep forgetting to add these little tidbits in. But another important thing I got was... I got... I went to the Pit of 100 Trials, right? And I went to floor 50, and I got the Strange Sack, which lets me carry 10 items. So, that's useful, as all things are. So I should actually, speaking of, I should probably use an item, if anything. Ow. I'm surprised that, uh, not surprised, but I'm lucky that that didn't freeze me. I would actually be at their mercy. Okay, um, I guess a mushroom will do. Just get that health back that I lost. Yay. Alright, ooh. Good. There's a badge over there. And there are two frost piranhas trying to get your boy. HP plus. Hello. Ooh, four of them. Alright. This calls for a special. Art attack! Boop! La 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 Far outpost. Oh, there's another star piece. So, far outpost, huh? I wonder where the cannon that shoots the moon is. Well, let's get started by talking to the villagers. Okay. But first, there we go. Welcome to far outpost. Whoa, that is quite good lip warmer you have got. Okay, I now give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis, da? Oh, he's Russian. Okay, <laughs> easy. Ah, mmm, da, da, mmm, da, da. I've got it now. Yerbushi broom means 
that you are stubborn and selfish man. So, how did I do? No, do not protest. I know. No one likes to admit their faults. <laughs> oh my god. This is Babam Village, the blue. There is nothing here, the blamo. Okay. Hello, traveler. First time in Far Outpost, Kabui. What? Far Outpost Cannon? Well, I apologize for that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing, Kabui. Alright. I don't think they're villagers, so they're not gonna help me none. Who here would know about a cannon? I make big snow bob today. Maybe I am big as him someday, Papawi. But I do not want the melting to happen to me, Papu. Okay. At the inn, I could probably take a nice rest here. Ah, Monsieur Lestache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn and she kicked me out. So now I must use the eat of my feelings for uh, to smell the snow. Great. Alright, that's actually kind of useful that that's there. Hello. Make body and mind better. Da, welcome to inn. Stay of one night is only 15 coins. You like rest? Da, I'll stay. Niet, I'm leaving. Da, I'll stay. You have inn coupon. Use it. Have good sleep. I actually do want to, one of these days, I actually do want to visit Russia when it's actually snowing. It'll be cool. Just like Japan. Wow. Your sleep was good, da? Enjoy day. Thank you. Enjoy day indeed. Alright. Save. Isn't there like a hidden panel here? Or am I just tripping? I think I'm just tripping. Snowmen, igloos, snow fights. Ah, all good. But snow gets boring sometimes, Shapoo. Okay. Ooh, this looks nice. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, so we got our last shine sprite so we can upgrade green. Looking at night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of space, Babu. Okay. It is so peaceful, Wabu. Far out post is nice. Restful place, Wablu. Okay. <laughs> I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about Big Tonkan and Shashu. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, what business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. What? Um, I'm pretty sure we heard there was a cannon around here. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. Okay. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? What do I do? Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna uh, talk to you, Beller. That's the mayor of Far Outpost. He doesn't seem too interested in welcoming us. Maybe Baboms are like some super closed off society or something. Baboms, huh? There's only one Babom that might convince him. What? Didn't I not tell you we have no silly gunnin? Now listen here. You're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush! You call yourself a babum? I spit at you! You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non babums. No mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must have that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Oh. World could end. Uh, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to far away places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing a job that he took cannon key and left. Gold Bob in General White. Da, ah, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob in General White. Very well then, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's go find those two. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Alright, uh... Well, this calls for green, so actually it's a good reason to... Go to Witchamadoodle to Roport. Because we gotta go find Gold Bob and General White. Well, I know where Gold Bob is. He's back in Poshley Heights. 
with the... Uh, he's living among the rich. As you should, I suppose. Yeah. Easy getaway. Even though I should battle these guys, because they actually do grant me some good star points. Yeah. Alright. Three ice puffs again. Always three. It's three is a magic number, I guess. Five. Okay, he does five damage. But he has, doesn't really have that much health. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do this. Mini egg. Yeah. Yes, shrink. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a hammer on this guy. There. My crowd is nothing but piranha plants. I just now realized that. How does that even happen? <laughs> How do you get piranha plants in your audience? They just grow out of the, the freaking ground from the seats? I guess that will have to be the only way. All right. Now let's go. We have to go find Gold Bob first. Oop. Heights. It actually looks relaxing too. Hello. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the kind of outpost to save the world? Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask? Everything I have. What? You pay every coin in your own? All of them? You, uh... Really? So... Really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins. With absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? I do. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. I do know that. But hold on. I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. I'm sure. I can really take them all. Really. You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that? I won't. Well, alright then. I can always make more. Hmm. Well, you certainly show me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Gold Bob Guide. Gold Bob's user manual for the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it is a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. <laughs> 811, huh? Now soldier on, my boy. Thank you. Female, huh? Really, at this time? What do we got? Issue 6? Cool. Rogue port today. 
An unknown businessman, age 30, was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of a volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment, it was, and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot sauce, folks. Alright. Shop report to go. This week, we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the Excess Express, the Sales Stall. This unique boutique of the, on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money. But perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings, says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all our DM readers. Just show them the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Cooking Rookies this is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. All right. The next issue, huh? How do you... Actually, speaking of which, inky... Oh, excuse me. Ink spaghetti is actually real. Did you know that? That is not. It's, it's not a farce. Ink spaghetti. Excuse me. Ink spaghetti is a is a real thing. Like it's just black spaghetti. Which I mean, I've never tried it, but I would. I would be down to definitely try ink spaghetti. I heard it was actually really good for some people. It's just like sushi, but I mean, you don't knock it till you try it. You know. I Me, mean, I'm always down for trying sushi. I love sushi so much. Like, good God. One thing I definitely want to see, like, with, if I ever, like, travel, like, those sushi bars where, like, the sushi, like, goes on the conveyor belt. I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but who knows? Maybe it is. I'm just, in my head, I think it's real. So, yeah, that could be a potential thing. And, like, the little the conveyor belt just, like, grab the sushi you want. I don't know how you would pay for it, though. Would you just pay up front and then you can, like, is it like a buffet? Is that how it is? I don't know. But I highly believe it's like a buffet. Like, you, you, go up to, you go up to the front, you pay, and then when all the sushi's in line, like, the person in the back's, like, making the sushi, putting it out on the conveyor belt, and then you just grab it and then eat it, I guess. <laughs> I've always thought it that way. So far, this may have been one of the best battle backgrounds so far in this game that I like. I mean, I really haven't commented much about it because I already told you what I feel about them. But this one might be pretty cool because it's just like the snow is falling and there's big mountains. It doesn't really beat the Shiver City one like in, back in 64 where like the snowflakes were actually like on strings and the snow was like falling in the background and in the foreground. It was really cool. Pun intended. But yeah, this one has this little charm on it. I'm starting to feel for this one. I really like the snow falling down. It's really cool. Ooh, level up. Okay, what should we level up? Health? Uh, we'll do... Magic flower power. Have to, at least. Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Nice. I like bigger. Bigger is better. Excuse me. Can't wait to see my new stage. Another email? My god, is it the next issue? Uh... Oh my god, it's Rockhawk. You. Is this a so-called Great Gonzalez? Uh, well it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen will blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock. And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises of a hammer shame left on this bod. And I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, rock cock. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's still doing good. Don't know why he cared to send a message to me, but hey, I guess 
Good rivals die hard, I suppose. Alright. So you've got permission of Goldbach. Da, now we need General White. I heard he was seen in Petalburg. You head there. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do for freaking this, because this thing is so dumb. I hate this part <laughs> so much looking for General White. So to make it easier on me and you, I'm just gonna cut to the p places where General White is supposedly uh, the location of General White is. Don't know. Let me try that sentence again because I feel like my mind just like kind of died on me. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to cut and just move on to the next place that General White is supposedly supposed to be. How about that? So maybe after this battle then we'll move on ahead. Oh, here's my stage. My new stage is looking pretty good actually. Um, Mini Mr. Mini. Shrink. Wow, really? Oh god. Okay. This is not what I wanted. Uh, Shell Stopper. takes two? That's crazy. I could do this four different times if I wanted. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll see you in the next, not the next episode, but the next, uh, uh, Petalburg. Yes, I'll see you at Petalburg. Onward. Ta-da! Petalburg. Okay, I don't, I forget who to talk to in this place. I'm pretty sure it's just like the person like in the lead. Like, not the lead, but the the gatekeeper. Oh, let's talk to Video Game Boy. I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door like crazy lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. Yeah, I think so too. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is a wonderful game. Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip. Then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Okay, so the dude's in Keel Hall Key. So, as always, I'll see you then. Amateur will flash cut to the next point. Keel Hall Key. Okay. Who do I talk to in this place? Alright. He's gotta be here somewhere, right? Maybe I should take a rest. Who knows? General White. Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Say he was going to an arena or something. Uh, so he's in Clitzville? Come on. I hate this. I hate it a lot. <laughs> like, I really do hate this part. So much. Oh boy. Alrighty, this is the third location. I'm already dead tired. <laughs> like, I can't. Oh, there's another in coupon. May as well grab that. Thank you. Yeah, though. No. Uh, excuse me. General White? Oh, you must mean that White Babam, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Uh, he's in Boggly Woods. End me. Just end Mario's whole career right now. Very well, folks. Please watch yourself. Did Wait, didn't you just get here? <laughs> That's basically what it is. Alright, I'll see you in the next location. All right, Boggly Woods, General White, you better be here.
Hello. Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bomb with his great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. <laughs> Twilight Town. Yummy. <laughs> I came from like four different areas of the world. This is fine. This is fine. Twilight Town is fun. Ah, you, uh, you, you're Mario, our hero. Yeah, who for you, Mario? It'd be awesome if someone said that about you, huh? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Okay, you don't know where he is. We used to use the bell at Creepy Steeple as our clock. But we haven't been doing that since the whole pig thing started happening. I wouldn't mind getting back to that system after we settle all this, though. Hmm. I suppose. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bob bomb right? He was here until recently. What? Where'd he go? What, am I a secretary? He looked tired, I know that. Okay. Uh, so I think that might give me a good idea where he is. Ugh, here he is. <laughs> the entire time he's been... Oh, there's a star piece. The entire time he's been at home. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. He's still asleep. Try again. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. Try again. He's still sawing logs. Try again. God, wake up. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. <laughs> He's counting sheep. Try again. <laughs> Good God. But this is actually like me. Like, I will not wake up. He woke. Nah, still sleep. Try again. I won't wake up unless it's important. Sleeping like a stash baby. Try again. <laughs> He's not even budging. Try again. <laughs> I think he might be dead. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> He's still snoring away. Try again. I think he died in his sleep. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Good or snore, snore. Ah, oh, General. You suck. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep. As it all, as it is, as it is all hopeless. What? That mustache. That hat. And that hammer, even. But what? I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the Rogueport fortune, fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, or green M hat, and the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. What? You need to use a cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip, hip, hurrah! That fortune teller was right. So, what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving. Hut, hut. Ugh. Suck. So, cannon is back on light. Well, I could just explode with the light. Now let us shoot you guys to moon. Oh. Alright. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. Now you follow me. You come this way. You come here. Come here now. Oh, by the way, off camera, like I when I was looking for General White, I actually did um, upgrade green, so he's ultra rank as well now. Now you stand here. Not General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, man, you know the drill. Hold the Big Bomb Cannon. Oh, hut, hut, boom. Now, positions, everyone. Yes, sir. I wonder why those two in, in particular. All right. Bring Guidance System Online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All cleared. 
Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Opening outer hatch, sir. Ooh. Open inner shutter. Or inner shutters. Elevate on my mark. Ooh, this is really cool. It's probably one of the coolest parts in the game. <laughs> the big old cannon. How do you even make something like that? That is a marvel. My god, that is huge. Exciting. Target is the moon. Wow. That's so cool. Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 38.96.3. Okay. Wow. Bigger than I imagined. Wind speed 108, correct direction 303, correct elevation negative 239. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Bombs. Where did we come from? Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, baboom. It's tight in here, plume. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. <laughs> Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon. Fire! Nice. That was all powered by the bombs. Like that. Ex that was all the bombs exploding at once. Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so awesome. Good luck, Mario. Later. Wow! <laughs> wow! We are on the moon, guys. Le moon. The Luna. Uh. Wow! That was awesome! Man, who knew adventurers got to do stuff like that? Whoa, we're really truly no fooling on the moon. Let's rock out, Gonzalez. Let's find the last crystal star and say peach. Oh, yeah. All right, the moon. All right, but well, I'm gonna probably have to switch to Bobbery here since I see some cracks. The moon. Ooh, stopwatch, gonna need that. I'm so slow. And I'm jumpy. As with all moon stuff. Okay. Let me see. Let's go use the Bella here. We're on the moon. Awesome. The moon I always look up at. Can you believe it? I mean, I heard they put a Goomba on the moon in 69, but who knew we'd get here? Boy, nothing's impossible on your adventures, Mario. You are the coolest. <laughs> they put a Goomba up here and... 1969 or something? I don't know. She just said 69. I guess it's part of history that in Mushroom Kingdom history they put a Goomba on the moon. That's awesome. Goombas were the first people on the moon. Ha ha. They're superior. I agree with this. Why isn't this working? Don't hurt me. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I was scared it was going to get awful close and hit me. Wow, I didn't do nothing, did it? Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, Bella. Get out of here. What we got? Moon class. That's a moon class. It's your basic class living on the moon. HP is six, attack is five, and defense is five. Defense is high, as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero. 
Oh, okay, so that's why it was all Licky Madoodle. And here's where Piercing Blow comes in. Ugh, beautiful. Alright. Good enough for me. There are moon quests everywhere. Boy, I guess there are pretty much just rocks on the moon. I guess I knew that, but it's still kind of disappointing. Bummer. <laughs> she was expecting something else on the moon. That's great. As we all do, I suppose. Got him. Yeah, we're definitely going to need Bobbery here. That, or actually, yeah, Miss Mouth might work too, because she can pierce defense too with her basic attack. Yeah, she works out pretty well. Oh my god, I take two damage? Yikes. I think it actually might be better to do Bobbery. Just so we can have, like, easier... Don't know why I did it, but I, I don't really necessarily need it. Your star power is full. Ow. Okay, that worked out in his favor. I like it. Okay, moving on. Throughout all this slowness, you can't get me. Alright, okay, we're well, definitely probably gonna use Bobbery right now. Just so we could. Eh. There's another cleft over there. There's, there's a lot of clefts up here. It's mostly just clefts. Why? Uh, bomb? No, but bomb ass. There we go. Works for me. On oh, the moon fell. Oh, actually, it kind of looks better like this, too. I don't need the moon. <laughs> Just uh, the stars in space. I wonder how an explosion would actually look in space. Think about that. Like, if you threw a grenade in space, how would that look? Huh. I guess I just never really thought about it until actually, like, using Bobbery like that. Like, I guess only people can... The, the astronauts can tell. I wonder if actually, like, NASA, like, NASA astronauts was like... They were talking with the army one day and they were like, Yo, let me have a grenade, because I'm about to go into space, right? <laughs> let me just, like, take a, one of your grenades and I'm like... Throw it in space and I'll sh record a video and show you what it looks like, what explosions look like out in space. That'd be so cool, actually. I'll be so intrigued to see that. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I think anything in space really is gonna look, look really cool. Cause I've, I've seen videos like on YouTube, of course, like with like actual astronaut footage, like they're like throwing food around. I actually like when you put milk in space, <laughs> it's cool. I was like, wow, just like, the wonders of zero gravity, you know? These are new. Thank God I got the hops. Well, I take them out in one hit, so that's good. Z yucks. That's a Z-Yux. It's a genetic improvement of the original Yux. HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini Z-Yux will appear to protect the main unit, as you expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those bears often protect it from attacks. Okay, so it's just a, a stronger Yux. 
Oh, it must be the health thing. Hmm. Mini Zeux. That's a mini Zeux. It lives to protect the Zeux. There can be as many as four. HP is two, attack is zero, and defense is zero. If you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Zeux. Using multiple strike attacks to take them out all at once is a totally good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their... whatever, but they get no mercy. <laughs> Would it be a maternal figure? Who knows? Okay. Dunzo. Alright. Keep going. Eh. Eh. Alright. Oh, there's something back here, too. I guess we needed to go here. Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? I shall. Unknown. The place is unknown. Hello? Oh! Who's that, dude? Whoa. That's Mario. So, let's get him? Okay. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Can't flee this fight. Alright. Ooh. He has a stopwatch. I'm gonna use my stopwatch. Nice. Immobilize. Movement will be impossible for a while. Okay. And we're gonna do a, go ahead and do a little searchy search. Or tattle. Farewell. Okay. Go ahead and do your thing. Elite x not. That's an Elite x not. This guy is the creme de la creme of the x nots Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x nots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. Okay, stronger x, x nots No big. I can handle it. Boosh. Yeah. Yeah. Mario, old boy, since these X dot ruffians are about. Yes, I'm quite sure of it. The crystal star must be here as well. Oh dear, Peach must be here too, wouldn't you say? Let's find her, old boy. <laughs> Got it. So, the x not Fortress. That's where we are. Ooh, I love this song, too. Because, technically, this place is like a factory, so... I like factory levels. How do you even build a place like this on the moon? That's what I want to know. How did you get the, the ability to do so? How does one get materials to the moon and build... is now a le boosted, but he did. He did. Okay, I might get another level up if I'm lucky. Cause I love me a level up or two. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh this is easy. It's just a nice old path to the 
Boom jams. Okay. Super shroom? I have a lot of super shrooms. I should probably eat one. Someone out here needs one. Please insert the elevator key. Here you go. Okay, I, f I always forget what level I need to go to. One or two? I think I need to go to one. Is it one? It has to be one. Yeah. Hey. Oh yeah, the Xs are probably not even gonna offer me any star points. Yeah, I expected not to. Crazy how the elite ones have defense. Don't know how. There. Right, moving on. That diggity. Yeah, the X-Nuts are not going to cough up as many coins, or not coins, but star points. And I'm already, I think I'm in the wrong place. I always get lost in this place. I hate it. Whoa. Hello. A lot of X-Nuts in this one. Oh, he has nine because of the uh, HP plus. Farewell. Okay. Oh, we should get the badge too. Another, another HP plus. That's wild. I have so many of those. I only like to use one, though, because I feel like one's kind of enough for me. Uh, Sub-level two. Do I go down here? I forget. I really do. Here we are. Oh, yeah, the doors. Oh, there's another x not over there. Hello. <laughs> Sorry I intruded. Oh, there's a new type of x not. <laughs> Do 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 Don't know, don't know what that was. X not PhD. All right. That's an X not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. HP is nine, attack is four, and defense is zero. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. x PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. I like them. I actually do. They're not that bad. They got a clipboard and everything. What's that? Yeah. Don't know. I really don't know what these things do. They're the scientists of the group. X not PhD. Well, I don't think I have to be in here anyway. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. Okay. Keep the workspace orderly. Uh huh. Notice a new seminar. Topic: Galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. Okay then. What are the X not doing? When leaving the lab, always do your all-point inspection in the loudest voice possible. Okay. This is Grotus' lab. He must have his researchers work on various potions here. I don't think we should touch any of this stuff, though. One wrong move and... Kaboom! Know what I mean? Yeah. Always gotta be aware when you're working with potions, or, or not just potions, but chemicals in general. That's why people in chemistry are the experts. Yeah. 
My crowd is nothing but x knots And piranha plants, of course. Still don't know how they managed to get a seat in the audience, but it happens. Alright, probably one more battle and then I can get a level up here. Oh. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trapped, I think. If you wander off the correct path, it looks like you'll take damage, don't you think? Rooms like this always have a hint, though. It's like a law. See anything like that? I do, it's on the wall. But I can already figure it out here. It's kind of like obvious looking if you really see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Gumbella, what are you doing? <laughs> Gumbella's like having a seizure over there. Ooh, Sleepy Sheep, I could probably put that to use. Okay. Wait, what was that? That was... The... Oh, a card key. Got it. So I think I gotta find more card keys. This. This looks like some kind of teleporter. Who knows where that thing will send us? Maybe that's what the Exxons are used to go between the moon and the Earth. I think we have to switch it on and stand on the platform to use it. Okay, well, if she already told me, then I probably don't need to do it, don't I? Ow! <laughs> Did not see that. Alright. You think you're such a wheeler dealer? Don't want to know what that does. It's probably by it. Yeah. Okay, what should we upgrade now? Now at this point, it's kind of like a tough decision. We'll do badge. I know I need to get some other badge stuff in. And I actually got to take some badges off, actually. Which ones? Uh, Ice power. I definitely don't need that one anymore. So that gives me five. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. All badges. Pity Flower. When Mario takes damage, occasionally recover one FP. Hmm. Defend Plus. I could put that on. Boost my defense. Or for the partners. Huh. Defend Plus. Don't I have a Power Plus partner? Yeah, I do. Okay, that takes six. Uh, okay, I'll probably wait one more level up so we can put on power plus partner and then we'll work on our way for defense. That's what we're gonna do. So I gotta keep fighting these guys. Oh, he healed himself. That should be fine, though, right? Yeah, because he's about to get ended with a hammer anyway. Yeah. If you don't have above 7 or 8, you are dying automatically. <laughs> that's it, because my jump takes 8 damage and my hammer takes 7. So that's already a no-no. Wait, which way do I go? I forget. Is it this way? Map. Oh yeah, totally forgot about this. <laughs> hey. hey. How to activate the switch? Left, right, middle. Do not forget. Okay, left, right, middle. Left, right, middle. Today's code is 1429. Do not forget it. I think I need to know that myself. Look at Goombella. She's a old school Goomber. I love it. <laughs> Coops, Flurry, Green, Vivian, Barbara, and Miss Mouse. Oh, it's awesome. Gabelle's the best one, really. Look at it, it's so cool. I'm Luigi. 
Sorry, I'm just I'm just vibing to the music. I love the old school Mario theme. It's so good. Like it's legendary among themes. But good god, I can always jam out to that. Like I can literally blare that at work and I will have no regrets. I think I gotta go to level one. Ba da ba 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 da ba da ba da 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 it's, it's still, it's fueling the fire, like, to play Super Mario Bros. on the channel. Like, it really is. Probably not, like, a long play, but, um, actually episode-wise. Like, part one, part two, and, ugh, just to make it worthwhile. And I have, I can do save points, so, easy. Okay, the, the code, um... Zero one four zero two nine. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, hello again. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So, what do you say? Challenge the chump. <laughs> You're mine now. Okay. My god, here we go again. And here we go, folks. The main event. The 66th Annual Quirk Quiz. Yay! If you get five correct answers for the following questions, then you win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go. Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here? Uh, crap, well, was it a car key or an elevator key? Car key? You sure about that? It was an elevator key. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. You're dumber than dumb. Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. <laughs> Here's the next one. I already failed the first quiz. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Coop's return? That is Flavio. <laughs> Coopy Coo. Ah, you're correct. Crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Okay. Now, question three. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have? Total. Two. Six. Six. Yes. Yay, yo. Because only Goomba and Buzzy Beetle have feet. We're on to question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where's the one, the only, Diamond Star? Diamond Star? Oh, he's talking about the crystal stars. Um, dang, I should have looked at them. I knew it. Glitz Glitzville is yellow, so that's gold. Cortez is blue, so that's sapphire. Pot orange? Orange? What was orange? I know they're actually named after jewels. Well, considering their color, so hooktail. Yeah. I know the Twilight Town's ruby. And now, question five. What was the name of the very first champion at the Glitzville Arena? Prince Mush. Easy. Gah! You're correct, you jerk. You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me. Well, fine. I'm going to toss an extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? All right. Now for question six. What did Francesca and Frankie from Roqueport lose on Keel Hall Key? You know what? It sucks because I, I forgot what they lost. I should really look up back on my episodes. A bracelet? Oh, 
what the heck? Whoa, oh, it was a flipping ring. They got married. <laughs> you don't put bracelets in weddings. Oh, why am I so bad? Oh, you're so very foolish. So wrong, it hurts me. One more slip and you're done for, junior nerd. Just one more. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, here's our last question. What number question? <laughs> Don't do this again. <laughs> Don't do this again. <laughs> Uh, don't do this. I don't know. I was just reading. <laughs> Wait, look at the look at the thing. Look at the thing. Seven. It's seven. Yes. Forget you. You're not doing that again to me. <laughs> no. C correct. That's five correct answers. Crud, you win. I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose. I lose. Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> yeah, you're not doing... Screw you. <laughs> Forget you. You're not doing that crap again. Oh my god. I still can't believe that I forgot that... Frankie and whatever, which a doodle face, forgot a ring. I said bracelet. I am such an idiot. When I get married, <laughs> I'm gonna put bracelets in my wedding. <laughs> Here you go, honey. A nice bracelet. Where's my ring? What ring? I want. I want to break up. <laughs> He's like, what? You don't put <laughs> things on your bracelets on your wedding? Okay, so we got that. All right, probably. Two more battles. I know we kind of extended it, our time, but this will be one, this one, and then I know there's another one coming up, so we're gonna need it. Oh my god, there's four of them? This calls for a showstopper. There we go. I have nothing but dead people in my audience. <laughs> it's just dry bones and booze. The dead have come to see my show. At least it's good. If the dead is manageable to see it. Yeah, I do believe we have to go here. Oh, hello. Ah. Okay, I guess we won't get a first strike. What is? Ooh. What we got? X yucks. That's an X Yux. I hear this reads as a cross Yux and not an X Yux. Anyway, this is a new Yux designed to protect extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. HP is 10, attack is 3, and defense is 1. It can produce too many X Yuxes at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about it that if we're gonna win. Alright, it's actually not that hard. Oh, you're popping out two yucks, huh? Okay. Mini X yucks. That's a mini X yucks. It lives to protect the X yucks. Up to four can guard the X yucks. Max HP is one, attack is zero, and defense is zero. You can't attack the main unit until you clear these annoying pets out. So use multiple strike attacks to take them out all at once. Okay. Uh, probably wait till the pops out four. Okay, so now, um, hmm, I have an idea, we'll do this, uh, switch out Vivian, and then fail, hopefully it works, yeah, cause I, that, Whew. okay, Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. <laughs> Immobilize. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything here. Hmm. 
this is bad. I might have to run. Because... Oh boy. Alright, fiery jinx. Only to get rid of the... those guys. And he keeps hitting me with that. I just have to hope that it doesn't immobilize me next time. Dang it! <laughs> yeah, we're screwed. Alright, we have to leave. We gotta run. <laughs> and try again. Later. Ah. Don't worry, that was just a warm-up. That was just a warm-up. Come here. There. How you like me now. I thought I could get it, but if Mario didn't get immobilized, then it probably would have been better. But I was unsuccessful. All right, that's good, at least. So I believe there's a card key in here that I'm gonna need to grab. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, so until then, that's actually gonna be it from this episode though, cause we've already extended enough and then we ran out of time for more anyway. So until then guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe to get new feed on videos and become a member of the Cuckoo Crew today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can recommend the fidget games I'm going to play or chat your preference. Also, after you subscribe, be sure to tap that bell to get new notifications on videos so you'll never miss an upload from me ever again. But that's going to be it from Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to keep going through the X-Not Fortress, collect them keys, and proceed on to find that crystal star and maybe finding Peach. So until then, guys... Have a nice day, have a nice night. Amateur is out. <laughs>